Wisconsin is home and and when I was speed skating we were all over the world and living in other places and we always knew we wanted to move back to Wisconsin because because of this I mean family is here which is important of course um, and equally important almost is is our outdoors and I always looked forward to the day that I would become a, a landowner meet Casey Fitzrandolph Olympic gold medalist in speed skating and proud Wisconsin forest landowner Casey has already left a legacy of wins on the ice. Now, he and his family are leaving another legacy on the Wisconsin landscape, one that started on the old family farm with Casey's father. We planted trees originally um, back in the early 80s when Casey was probably about uh, Bean's age, about five years old, uh, up on the family farm in Boston. And of course, they didn't have tree planters back then, so everything went in with uh, with two people and a spud, but uh, that was the first experience with planting trees and then uh, with Casey's Farms, of course. Now I get plenty of experience planting trees, 14,000 this year. <laughs> I just love watching these trees come out of these little boxes that they're in in these bunches because they're such fragile little things. And then through the years as you get them in the ground and you watch them grow, it's just so rewarding. Uh, to see them actually turn into a full-fledged tree. Like many of Wisconsin's landowners, the Fitzrandolphs pass their love of the land and outdoor activities down through the generations. To them, caring for the land is a family affair. The Fitzes have three generations out here today working. We are not only doing something that's healthy and active and good for our environment, but we're also doing something that, uh, that generations to come will benefit from. And like I said, it's fun. <laughs> then what else? What are we going to do this afternoon? Plant trees. Plant trees, absolutely. Are you going to drive the tractor with me or are you going to... Stomp and drive the tractor. Are you both? Okay. Investments like this certainly help Wisconsin's wildlife and the landowner benefits as well. Being at the farm is religion to me. It's a retreat. It's relaxation, but it allows me to get away and, and think about the bigger picture and the more important things. I find deep satisfaction out of something as simple as putting up a bluebird house and watching you know, a bluebird sit on the top of it while the other one's on the nest. I mean, simple, simple stuff. You, you know, the things that happen every day in nature that, you know, that so many of us um, live our lives completely unaware of is it's rewarding is what it is, it's deeply rewarding. You don't have to plant 14,000 tree seedlings like the Fitz Randolphs are doing to leave a legacy. Plant a single tree in your yard. Go out and enjoy 16 million acres of them that grace the landscape throughout the state. And while you're at it, be sure to thank the 362,000 individuals and families who own nearly 60% of the forest land in Wisconsin. Landowners who love their forests and take great pride in caring for them. If you were to be so bold as to say, you know, what one individual leaves behind on one or two farms um, is called a legacy, then I would hope that my legacy would be that I left the farms that I purchased in better condition than when I got them. Tenfold. How's that? Because I'm pretty ambitious. Go to the DNR website and search forestry to learn more about Wisconsin's forests.